Hello and welcome back to my studio. In this video we're going to look at some color mixing tips and techniques that you can apply. And this is a, another question from an artist who is having trouble painting asphalt roads and showing sun and shadow on the, the road. So let's find out more about painting an asphalt road in sunlight conditions. Dear Malcolm, if I want to paint a dry asphalt road, it always looks like water. What color can I use to prevent that? Now, depending on the direction of the light, sometimes it can certainly look like there is quite a strong reflection off the road. And if you're just using white to show the light, then it could end up looking like reflected water. So what I like to do is to paint the cool road, definitely lean it towards something like cerulean blue, some white, and just break it a bit, probably with a bit of orange, and get it grayed down a bit. So my shadow of the road would be something like that. If it's very dark shadow, I'd get more blue, probably some ultramarine, and even some alizarin in there and get a strong dark shadow. So if something is with a tree casting a shadow, Let's just put the tree over there. So that would be a dark shadow. And in the light, I would use something like white and alizarin crimson, maybe even a touch of yellow, and get a sort of light, warm pink to have the light in the road. It could lean more to yellow as well, just depending what I'm trying to achieve. But when I'm depicting light, I want it to be pretty clear what I'm doing and warm light will lean, lean towards the yellow. And instead of using that uh, white paint, and getting that sort of reflected water look, I think it's more clear that it's still the road. And I've just grayed the cerulean down with a bit more orange. So that color was just leaning towards green a little too much for my liking. Okay, so there's the cool road, let's say a local color, and that would be the warm light over the road. So let's say that's grass over there. And then the sunlit grass over here. And the light heading over the road to the other side. Okay, now this color, I'd regard this as not in dark shadow, but in more indirect light, general light filtering down and creating a sort of ambient light. You could, as I said, have a dark shadow cast by a tree. So we've got shadow, we've got reflected light and we've got direct light. 
Well, I hope this video was helpful to you and gave you a few little tips and tricks you can try it in your own painting. Remember, if you want to see more videos each week, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and you will get notified when the next video is up. And remember, if you have any questions of a painting nature, please feel free to put them in the comments below. I always check out the comments and I may be able to help you with your painting problem in a video as well. Okay, excellent. Well, keep painting, keep creating, and uh, we'll see you soon. Cheers for now.